The cloak of night was over London Airport. Well, it happens every night, but not this way. Sleep claimed the girls at last. They dreamt of their heroes winging the Atlantic. Go on, go to sleep. They'll soon be here. Dawn on the greatest day the airport ever knew. Great to be alive. To be young and a Beatle fan, just heaven. Imagine waking up on the day they've longed for. Within a few hundred yards of the tarmac, the Beatles themselves were soon to tread. Litter? There was a bit. Get a good place with a perfect view before you're crowded out by all the fans arriving now. She's coming in, that Boeing that brings the world famous four, right now the most famous that ever came to London Airport. Excitement? There'd never been anything like this. Ready for yet more pictures of the best known faces in the world? Nine tenths of Fleet Street photographers. Jet Clipper Beatles, named for the occasion. Go on, scream, they're here. George, John, Paul and Ringo, the monarchs of Merseyside South. Was it any wonder the seagulls on the nearby reservoir flew off in hysterics? And those crushed barriers will stand the strain? Never mind crush barriers, the Beatles fans would smash the sound barrier. Beatles haven't a chance of leaving the airport just yet. In the VIP lounge, there's an army of press, newsreel, radio and TV interviewers waiting to ask them a question or two. The fans obviously enjoyed it over there. I, I assume the press enjoyed it. Did you enjoy it? Yeah, it was marvellous. Yeah, yeah, everything. Every bit of it was an arcade. Even, even the work? Yeah, we enjoyed <laughs> it. You know, it was different. Yeah. You know, working in different places yeah, with yeah. the audience all around us. And, you know, it was a novelty. What impressed you most about the place? Um, you have time to take anything in properly? Yeah, yeah. I don't know. We, I think I, I enjoyed the sun in Miami most of all. Yeah, I'm healthy. Are you the healthy one? Before, no, no, you? no. But the sun was sort of very healthy. healthy. Yeah, very. Healthy. Did you, did you have a chance to get away from anybody at any time on the trip? Yeah. You can't wait for me twice. <laughs> <laughs> what, did, what did you most like about the trip, Ringo? Oh, I just loved all of it, you know, especially yeah. Miami. Yeah. The sun, you know. <laughs> I didn't know what it meant until I went over there. <laughs> did you ever have a chance, John, to just get away on your own without yeah. anybody recognising you? We borrowed a couple of millionaires' houses, you know. Uh, well, well, well you know, we did. <laughs> you could afford to buy a couple of millionaires' houses, couldn't you? No, no, John, no, yeah, no, yeah. No, yeah. We should have borrowed them, it's cheaper. What about the, the Beatles styles, all these wigs and suits and things, are they catching on over? Yeah, the same. Uh, 15 well. million a day. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, hear, I hear anyway that the four of you are going to be millionaires by the end of the year. Oh, yeah. oh yeah. that's nice. Have you, have you got time, to, so. have you got time, to, have you got time to actually spend this money? What money? <laughs> you get money as well. Doesn't he give any to you? No, no. no. Have you seen that car of his? One of the things you did was visit Clay. What's... Oh, <laughs> what was one that? of the things you did was visit Cla on Cassius me. Clay. <laughs> He's a big lad. Who's going to win? Clay Liston. Well, Liston. Or is it Al winning? Right. <laughs> but, well, it, it all depends, you see. If you go to his gym, you have to say he wins. And if you go to Liston's gym, you say Liston will win. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. What about, uh, is there any intention for you to go back to America or, in fact, join the brain drain in a big guitar drain and stay there? Um, well, I don't We'd like to go stay. back, you know. but we wouldn't stay there. We yeah. love England. <laughs> Surely the patience of the 12,000 fans must be pretty well exhausted. But the interviews are all over now. Casualties are few, and the idols of Liverpool, Great Britain, Europe and America will be on view once again before they leave the airport.
they come, and it's up to our police to show how wonderful they themselves are by getting the Beatles into their car, each all in one piece. insurance policies will have to have a new escape clause. Not liable if you meet the Beatles. Well, welcome back, Beatles. You had a marvellous trip and a homecoming such as nobody's had before.